Welcome to T Radix Ranch. I thought I'd throw together a little video on a, using a certain feeding strategy for troubled eaters. What I've got here is a uh, Ziploc round screw top container. I use the tall ones, uh, that way snakes are less likely to get out while you're trying to deal with them. If you have the short ones, um, it's not a good thing. Inside here I've got a couple of little checkered garter snakes that are having trouble getting started eating. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add to them some guppies. Guppies I picked up at a pet shop. And what will probably happen in this video is after I add them, they'll start flopping around. And that should trigger a feeding response from these guys. And hopefully they will do some eating. So let me get a few out. I usually put, you know, right, get in the net. The more flopping around, the better. And you simply take it and dump them in. Now sometimes the guppies will just lay there like that. And what I have to do is dip the net and add a little what I call soup. A little water, which all smells like guppies, to this mix and that also will activate these guppies to try to do some swimming. It can be a little messy but it's worth it if you can get these little ones to start eating. And with the snakes moving around and that smell, hopefully there will be a feeding response and these guys will start eating. Now I put two in here because Sometimes a little competitive eating will trigger a feeding response in one that maybe isn't ready to start eating. Suddenly he sees a cage mate or another snake getting some food and that will trigger a response. I see this little one down here in the bottom corner. There we go. He was smelling. I could tell he was interested in something. And, needless to say, he's got a fish. Now, he's got that fish backwards from the tail, but at this point, I don't care. You can see they were only in there maybe a minute. I saw him, or her, I don't know what it is, searching, smelling, and I knew that the minute, the second that uh, the snake touched the fish, it would grab it. Now this other one really doesn't seem to be showing any interest and really wants to come out and escape. So you have to watch that. If you want to just let them eat, simply put the lid on. Now they're not going to be in there very long so I don't put any holes in it. I don't ventilate it. It's not screwed down tight. But if this were going to be one of the long term feeding tries like overnight in the the snake room with the lights out, I would um, I would use a lid that has a little ventilation to it. Not that I think they're going to suffocate. They this size garter snake doesn't require a huge amount of oxygen. There's plenty of it in there, and uh, the lid isn't airtight, so I don't think that's a concern. So as you can see, um, this feeding response worked pretty well for this one. The other one is still not interested and that's not unusual uh, they're not all on the same clock and show the same interest so sometimes you just have to be patient with them and then give them another try most of the time these guppies will live a good 24 36 hours in a little container like this and even if they do pass away they can still be used now something i didn't do on this video was i didn't add any worm chunks. Taking an earthworm or a nightcrawler and cutting it into very small chunks, adding it into the mix here, what will happen is sometimes a garter snake will strike at a fish and miss and grab a piece of worm. Now that worm is covered in fish smell and I believe fish smell is more powerful than worm smell so they just go ahead and gobble it right down. So it is a good opportunity for them to get a little varied uh, food into their system. The little one looks like he's just hanging on for dear life. I hope that he'll 
uh, keep fighting with it and finish it up. Looks like he's very interested in eating, so I would call this a 50% success. But I thought I would just give you an idea of one of the ways you can get these troubled eaters, or even first-time eaters. Uh, it's a way to get them out of uh, their enclosure. You're not putting the guppies into a water bowl where they can flop out and then you end up with them dead. Sometimes they'll get substrate stuck to them and all of a sudden you've got a snake that goes and eats them. And eating the substrate can be a real problem. So this is just a little system that I use with the Ziploc container. You can use probably any container. I like a round container because it forces the snake and the prey to kind of be together. It's not too big and it's not too small. So this seems to work out really well. I think I purchased these at Walmart. So a good item to have around the snake room in my opinion and I hope that this video helps you get some of your slow eaters, first time eaters or troubled eaters uh, to take that first meal and get going. Thank you for watching um, to the T-Radix Ranch where Garter snakes are king here. Please check us out on the, on the YouTube. Excuse me, uh, Thanopus14 is my channel. Uh, if you ever need advice on garter snakes, feel free to give me a call. Area code seven one two five eight seven one one two eight. That's the T Radix Ranch in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Thank you. Have a nice evening, day, morning, whichever.